Hi there. Uh, in this video, we'll be exploring how to start discussions on the GitHub repository. Um, yeah, so let's get straight to it. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be using the Foo Barrymore account again, um, or Foo Barrymore. Um, so yeah, let's go to GitHub. Uh, let's sign in. Okay. Um, so the first thing to say here um, is that actually you can also ask a lot of questions on the Discord. And you can find the Discord um, by clicking here, as I just did. Um, this is a great place. Um, oh, I've not, yeah, I've not joined yet, so let's call ourselves FooB. Um, yeah, this is fun for you to watch as well. Um, awesome. Okay, uh, I might just cut this bit. Um, yeah, maybe this won't work because I can't create a second um, account with the same phone number. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Um, so sorry, I'm just going to quickly log in with my own um, admin account just to quickly show you. So, sorry, here we are. So, um, you will be able to create um, a Discord account. I can't because I've already got my phone number linked to my actual account. Um, but basically, um, you then can ask questions here. This is a great place to go. Um, general questions you can ask here. Um, questions about contributing, questions about the documentation, and so on. Um, IV specific questions about the functional API, the stateful API, the array class, the graph compiler, about all of the libraries, and then front end and back end questions for each framework. And then uh, questions about internship applications can go here. And then questions about Docker, um, pip packages, and Python. So this is a great place for a back and forth discussion but it's not necessarily the best for keeping track of previously asked questions and their responses, because essentially it's an ongoing message thread that's great to kind of um, talk to others in the community and maybe get very quick responses. Um, but I think it's then very important to be complementary alongside the discussions on GitHub, which are better at preserving um, a discussion on threads which are specific to specific um, issues. So then we can have long conversations which revolve around one issue that many people are having rather than having many issues bouncing around in one chat where it's hard to track who's responding to what. Um, but that's not to say that Discord has no use. It really does, certainly in kind of getting to know others in the community and being a more kind of informal, quick replying space. Um, but, issue, uh, but the discussions on GitHub are certainly important as well, which I will now... Um, go to and I'll do this now through um, through the food more account because um, this is my kind of dummy contributor account which is what I generally try to use when showing things from the perspective of a contributor sorry you're watching this again hopefully I didn't get that wrong great um, so yeah, so this actually, I don't think there are any discussions yet. Nope, there are not. Um, so I'm going to create a new dummy discussion. Um, this is quite a new feature to GitHub, as far as I understand. Um, I'm not super familiar with it myself, actually, but it seems quite intuitive. Um, so I think the first thing to say is, um, if you have a new issue or something which... So if there's a problem with Ivy, which is... Um, very clearly an issue that you've detected that many other people will, will have as well. And you're confident that, is a, that it is a problem with IV and an actual issue with IV's code, 
then in this case, you should create an issue. And you can just create a new issue, um, give a bit of details about your system and what the problem is. Um, in future, we'll create a very clear template for doing this, but for now, um, just be as descriptive as you can about the issue that you're facing. Um, but if it's something that you think might be just your side of the code, or it might be a problem that you're running into, but it isn't actually a problem with Ivy itself, but just something a bit complex about your, your personal setup, and it's a more kind of personal problem that you're facing as opposed to a problem with Ivy itself, then this is exactly where discussions should be started. Um, and yeah, and again, the benefit over Discord is that we can then have a thread specific to the issue that you're facing and people can come in and comment all specific to this issue. So let's start, start a new discussion now. The discussion title, so there's categories here, it can be ideas. So again, um, if you have an idea for something that could improve things, this is a great place to put it rather than an issue. General, that's obviously if we can't find another good category to fit it into. Um, yeah, show and tell, I don't think we really, you know what we can do. By all means, if you've uh, on your fork done something that you think is impressive, then you can create a discussion about this. And um, Q&A here is probably one of the more common ones to use. This is the clear choice if you have a personal problem that you don't think is an issue with Ivy. So we're gonna use this for now. Um, I'm struggling. Uh, what would we call it? Um, unable to install. Well, I'm just going to put dummy issue, and I'll close the issue then. Dummy, just dummy. Unable to install. I. Um, I. I can't install Ivy for some reason. Can you help me? Ivy on Windows. I don't know. Um, we get some error message. Uh, um, yeah, something like this. Um, so this is a, a dummy issue, obviously. Hopefully you have a more descriptive error message than this. Um, can you help me? Uh, so then you would start this discussion. Um, oh, and we get a big celebration. That's exciting. Um, Probably not actually, because this is the first end discussion in the thing. So unfortunately, you probably won't get this confetti, I'm sorry to say. Um, and then we can upvote it, um, similar to the way, oh no, okay, it is upvoted. So it's similar to kind of Reddit's way of doing it. And then what would happen is um, I or someone else in the community can then engage in this discussion as well. And it can act a little bit like, um, well, Stack Overflow actually is a much clearer analogy than Reddit. Um, and I think this is essentially the format, from my understanding, that, that these discussions are s supposed to kind of replicate a little bit like Stack Overflow, but is essentially then obviously specific to one repository. And Stack Overflow is an incredibly useful um, design and format where upvoted questions get a lot more attention. When you then Google search for things, you very often get Stack Overflow high in your search results. I assume um, the, same, yeah, the same will be true for Ivy. Um, if we then get very popular um, issues. So this, this acts as a very good um, location for a forum. And this is a place that you should definitely use. I highly encourage anybody, even if your question feels stupid or whatever, please just, you know, there's no stupid questions at all ever. So by all means, uh, start discussions. Um, yeah, and I was just gonna quickly reply from my own account. Um, Discussions. Windows has an attitude. Try restarting the plan. There we go. And then I give you some advice, and you're like, oh, yeah, wow, that worked. We mark it as the answer. So, again, very much Stack Overflow inspired. Um, and then we have an answer. Um, and then we can upvote saying, yeah, this was great. 
Um, I just make this more clear. Gaming discussion. And this is a discussion. Uh, and then when we go here, we can see there is one here. Um, and again, then we can filter for announcements, general ideas, so on. I might be able to create new labels here. I'll, this is something that I will explore. But anyway, this is, I think this is everything you need to see. Already uh, this video is probably too long. Yeah, yeah, 10 minutes, okay. So this will do for this video. This is how to engage in discussions on both um, Discord and GitHub discussions. And also a bit of an explanation on when to create an issue, when to start a discussion and when to engage on Discord. Um, there is some overlap there. So again, if you don't choose the, the correct option of these three, don't worry, um, worst case scenario, I can say, hey, this actually is more appropriate as a, as, a, as a discussion and I can close the issue. I can direct you towards Discord. I can direct you towards discussion. So, you know, just give your best idea about where to start the question or the issue and we can go from there. Okay, I think that'll do. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.